गाइस वेलकम टू अलगोरिदम्स मेड इजी माय नेम इज खुशबू एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द क्वेश्चन फ्लैटन बाइनरी ट्री टू अ लिंक लिस्ट गिवन द रूट ऑफ अ बाइनरी ट्री वी नीड टू फ्लैटन द ट्री इनटू अ लिंक लिस्ट द लिंक लिस्ट शुड यूज द सेम ट्री नोड क्लास वेयर इन द राइट चाइल्ड पॉइंटर विल पॉइंट टू द नेक्स्ट नोड इन द लिस्ट एंड द लेफ्ट चाइल्ड पॉइंटर विल ऑलवेज बी नल द लिंक लिस्ट शुड बी इन द सेम ऑर्डर एज pre order traversal of a binary tree which means that you need to first process the root then left and then right given this example the pre order traversal for this would be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and so we are going to append these nodes into the right of the nodes so it becomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 and all the left nodes for these are null similarly you are given examples 2 and 3 now The follow up over here is that can you flatten the tree in place with o of one extra space that is no extra space at all so let's first try out a simpler solution and then we'll go with the follow up so here's the tree that is given to us and now we need to convert it into a linked list so firstly i need the pre order traversal and this is what it would look like and now i need to join this as a linked list but since we need to use the tree node itself we need to have two pointers that is right and left so the right pointers would be the nodes and the left pointers would be null so our link list becomes like this which is shown in a tree format so that's about the visual representation of the question that is given to us now let's see how we can solve this so firstly we will see the recursive solution let's just take these three nodes to make the process simpler So now we know that we need to go in the manner root left and right and attach all the nodes in right side so after one we need to attach two in the right and after two this five will go to the right of two so what we are going to do over here is we know that we need to move this two to the right of our root node that is one so we do that and we take this 5 in a temporary variable because we need to attach this 5 to the tree as well So now when we have the left tree attached to the right side we need to attach this right tree to the right side again and so that gives us this particular tree which is in fact our linked list now we also know that we need to make the left of this node as null so let's break these steps further down and see how it looks like so we'll take this tree we'll take the left in a temporary variable and make the left of the root as null next step is to attach this to the right so we need this in a temporary variable also and then attach 2 to its right which gives us 1 attached with 2 now this 5 is still not attached properly so we need to attach this 5 to the right of Two. So this is about the solution for just three nodes. That is the smallest we can have. Now, what if we are given a bigger tree? If we are given bigger tree, we need to do the same steps. But instead of taking the left and right, we would be having a left and right tree, and we need to flatten these two trees also. So here's what the algorithm would look like. we'll take a temp variable to store left and right as we were doing for only three nodes then we'll make the left of our root as null and then we'll recursively flatten the left tree and the right tree after we have the flattened trees with us we are going to attach the left one to the right side and then traverse to the bottom most part of that left tree because we need to attach the right part to the end and so we are going to traverse till the bottom most node in the attached part that is the left part that we have attached and then attach the right tree to it that we have already flattened so that's how we applied the same logic that we applied for three node to a bigger tree by just calling these function recursively for left and right now let's go and write some code for this and then we'll come up with the solution for the follow up that is given in the problem we are going to use the same flatten method which would be called recursively on left and right so initially we say that if my root becomes null i just need to return or stop because that is the exit condition 
then we need to take the left and right in a temporary variable. So let's take that. After taking the temporary variables, I need to make the left as null. So I do root dot left equal to null and then I need to call the functions recursively to flatten my left and right trees that I have got. So I'll call flatten on left as well as on right. Now that I have my trees flattened with me, I need to just attach it where it is necessary. So my root dot right becomes the left part that I had and then I need to go till the last of the currently attached temp left and then attach my right to it. So let's take a node that is a current node that would be my root node and then while its right is not null i am going to update my current to point to the rightmost node so in this way i will be reaching the bottommost node in my flattened left tree after i am done with this i will append the right flattened tree to this current node so that is going to solve my problem so this completes the process of attaching the left part to the right and making a linked list out of it so let's see whether it runs perfectly and it's giving a perfect result. Let's submit this and it got submitted. So over here the time complexity is O of n that is the number of nodes that we are going to have in the tree and the space complexity would become the height of the tree for recursion stack. Now let's see how we can reduce the space to O of 1. To reduce the space in a tree traversal one of the methods is to use Morris traversal and that's what we are going to do in this particular problem. So let's see how it works. So we are going to start from the root that is from the node 1 and then we'll take the left of it. While the left is not null, we are going to go to its rightmost node and attach its right to become the right of my root. So you see what is happening over here is that the path that I am going to travel is 1, 2, 3, then I will go to 4 and instead of traversing back to 1 and then going to 5, I have 5 attached to my node 4 itself. And so that is the way I am storing the next pointers in this particular traversal by not using any extra space but changing the structure of my tree. So over here I am connecting the next of 4 to the right of this root node. After I am done with that, I am going to remove these pointers. The left of my root node would become null and the right of my root would become this left tree. So that goes like this. That is I have taken the left part and I have put that into the right of my root and I have made the left of the root as null. Again we will be performing the same steps. So we'll be going to the right side of my root by taking this node 2 and then I'll repeat the process. So for that I'm going to go to the left and its rightmost node. Since 3 does not have a right, the right of 3 would be attached to the right of 2 which is 4 because this is the next node that I'm going to traverse. And so now I'm going to break these links and attach this left to the right and make the left of root as null. Now if you see my tree is having all the nodes in its right itself. Let's flatten this out and see that's how my tree looks at this particular stage. Now again I'll be going to its next and I'll repeat the process. Since this 3 does not have a left I'll still go to the right node and complete the process till the end. And in this I am also having this null nodes attached to my left. So that's how my Morris traversal is working. That is I am using the null pointers of my leaf nodes and I am rerouting those to the correct nodes in which I want to travel. And that's how you save the space. So that's all about the Morris traversal. Let's write the code for this one now. So this one is going to be an iterative solution. I'll still take if root is null just return because we do not need to do anything and after that I'll take a while loop while my root is not equal to null. 
now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check whether my left is null or not. So let's do that. So if my root dot left is not null, I'm going to go to the rightmost child of that left node. So now let's take a few variables. I'll take a left, which would be root dot left. And I will need a temporary variable to traverse in the right side. So I will take this current and that would also be initially equal to left and I will take a while loop. And while current dot right is not equal to null, my current would go to current dot right. Now once I have reached here, my current dot right would be equal to the root dot right. That is I am attaching a pointer to the right of my root node. So this is exactly what we are doing in Morris traversal main step. Once I have this, now what I want to do is I want to detach my nodes from the root and make its left as null. So my root dot left becomes null and root dot right becomes left. That is everything I had in my left tree. So this is going to attach everything and this will take care of the loop. Now, if that is not the case, I also need to update my root. So at the end, I am going to do root equals root dot right. So this would go to the next iteration. And finally, when the root becomes null, we'll return from here and that would be our flattened tree or the linked list. And this will be a capital N and let's try to run this and it's giving a perfect result. Let's submit this and it got submitted. So over here, we do not have any recursion. We are not using any extra space. And so our space complexity is O of 1 and the time complexity still remains O of N because we need to iterate on each and every node in our tree. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you like the video and I'll see you in another one. So till then, keep learning, keep coding. Bye-bye.